Let's look at what's new in Hive this week. We're introducing Hive Solo, our new freemium model. You will not have the ability to customize project overview page for each of your projects. You can now unfollow sub actions from the parent action card. We're now giving you the option to restrict creating and editing Kanban statuses to only admins and project owners. We're also introducing today and tomorrow as new time tracking filter options. And last but not least, you will now have the ability to add placeholders in action templates. Let's start with the first update. We're introducing Hive Solo, our new freemium model of Hive. Moving forward, once you complete your two week trial period, you'll be seeing two options to continue with. You can choose to upgrade to a paid account where workspace apps will be included and you'll be able to add many users as you want to your workspace. You can also choose to continue with the free version of Hive where you can have two users in your workspace at once and it'll be free of charge forever. You can visit our website to find out more about the plans we offer and features included in each plan. You will now have the ability to customize project overview page for each of your projects. To do this, you can go to your project overview page, click on manage widgets tab and unselect the sections you'd like to remove from your view. This will help you declutter your project overview page. You can now unfollow sub actions from the parent action card. Previously, when you wanted to unfollow sub actions on a parent action, you would have to go into each sub action and click on unfollow. Moving forward, when you click on unfollow on parent action, you will get a pop-up asking you whether you want to unfollow all the sub actions too. You can click on this option and mass unfollow both parent and all sub actions at the same time. We're now giving you the option to restrict creating and editing Kanban statuses to only admins and project owners. You can enable this by going into workspace settings and selecting the option here. We're introducing today and tomorrow as new time tracking filter options. When you're in time tracking, you can now look at what people have tracked today and what they've tracked yesterday. You can use the filter option here select today and also yesterday and last but not least you will now have the ability to add placeholders in action templates previously you would apply the action template and then go in and add placeholders now you can do this by going into workspace settings clicking on action card templates and editing your assignees to placeholders you've created in your workspace All you have to do is then just save the action template and you're good to go. That's all we have for this week. Thanks to everyone who has requested features or voted in Kenny. We're proud to be community built. See you all next week.